Joining me now from Phoenix, Arizona, award-winning filmmaker and producer of the independent film Bleeding Blue, Kevin Jackson. Kevin, thank you for joining me. Great to be with you. What a, a segment to bring me in on. Geez, you listen to all these virtuous uh, white folks helping to poor little colored people in the community, right? Because they're going to save us from the mean old police, the people that we call seven times more than white people. The, the communities that are more fraught with crime than any other community, and they want to get rid of the police. This is so insane. It's it's pathetic. And, yeah. you know, just to be clear, it's the boys and girls in blue. There are a lot of police officers who are females who are really catching the brunt of this because, you know, they're out there uh, getting attacked and, quite frankly, don't always have the physical strength of the men. And in many cases, they're forced to use their weapons more often. So, you know, this is a systematic problem that's occurring all over the country that it doesn't make any common sense. So you have to ask yourself, what's the real political motive? Absolutely. And I'm sure you've seen some of the videos that have gone viral on Twitter of some of the white Black Lives Matter protesters who are screaming at minorities who happen to be police officers. <laughs> right. I mean, what, what goes through your it, mind when you see that? I, I think it's just insanity, and it, it just, it's unbelievable. Yeah, we, we made a video about it. We call it Black Lives Matter with White Supervision because essentially it's a bunch of white people that are stirring this mess up. The overwhelming people in the black community, Stephanie, want police officers. We understand what's going on in our communities, that almost 50% of the violent crime is generated by, sadly, young men that look like me. And we understand this too, uh, all too well. Uh, there was a pastor on recently that talked about, I'm not afraid of leaving my house and getting killed by a police officer. I'm afraid of leaving my house and getting killed by a young black male. So if we if we can't have a real life discussion about this, as we do, by the way, in the film Bleeding Blue, which you can catch at bleedingbluemovie.com. <laughs> uh, but if you can't have a real discussion about this as we have, then what, where's society going to go? And just for the record, I want the, the very vast and growing audience of OAN to know that this is part of the Obama legacy. Obama started this. We talk about it in the film when he did not confront Professor Gates and say, hey, look, even though you're my friend, you're not above the law. What Ob Barack Obama said was the police acted stupidly. And that has resonated, and it's getting police killed, and it's getting young black men killed. Look at how these people, Stephanie, are behaving out there, where they will just attack cops, get in their face, spit on them, challenge them in any way. This is a person with a fire on them, and that's what they do. What do you think they're going to do to the average citizen? Yeah, and, and you're not wrong on, on our former president, Barack Obama. He constantly made it a habit of trashing police officers. I had seen several videos and speeches where he went after them, and including our military, too. Now, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about your documentary. I know it came out a couple years ago, but it couldn't be more timely, considering everything that we're going through right now in our country and the continued George Floyd protests. Well, you know, what's funny about it, we made the film, and it was spurred on by the, the lie of Black Lives Matter, this racist group that is uh, anti-American, hasn't helped black since it's, since it's forming. And it's the reason is because it's been formed on a lie. Black Lives Matter was born of hands up, don't shoot. And so we made it with the idea that this is a cancer that is going to take, it, take over America if we don't do something now. And not only that, it's going to put uh, the men and women in blue in harm's way, and it's going to put the black community in harm's way. And we knew this would occur. We said many times when Kevin Sorbo, who narrates the film, and my, uh, my director, we said this film will be applicable many points during the future because we're going to continue to see this type of nonsense. And this is the legacy of Obama, where cops have a target on their back. Citizens feel like they have no responsibility. We talk about p p police review boards and internal affairs and policing of police all the time. But you know what we rarely talk about? The rights, the, what citizens should do. When a police officer says you're under arrest, go under arrest. Don't try to run. Don't try to take his gun, or which is what other people have done. And in Floyd's case, he, like most of the people who end up killed by police, resisted arrest. So I'm not saying that he needed a, neck on, a, a knee on his neck by any say. And, and police do make mistakes. But we've got to at least say it's the responsibility of the public to act accordingly and do what needs to be done for the public good. Want to see more videos like this? 
click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.